Here is an RCA sound tape cassette recorder from 1963. I've got this on the service bench now and I've been uh, working on repairing it. I put in uh, all new capacitors into it and I've been testing it. Here's the cassette that it uses. It's a really big cassette and it uses quarter inch tape. The end of the tape had come undone from the reel so I had to open up the cassette shell and uh, repair it. I'm going to reassemble the cassette and then do a test of the uh, sound tape recorder. Now I'm ready for a test of the sound tape recorder. I'm going to set the recording control to record and here's the uh, indicator tube for the input level. I need both hands to operate the controls, so I'll stop the camera for a moment and get it recording. Now the machine is recording, and if you can see the eye tube, it's, it's a little bit hard to see, but it's responding to the changes in signal strength. The left control is for record, and then the right control is for rewind or stop or play. It doesn't have a fast forward function. The volume knob is here on the side. So let's stop the machine and uh, see how the recording went. Okay, I'm going to rewind it now. The sound quality is not too bad, but it sounds like there's some dropouts. I may want to renew that cassette with some brand new quarter inch tape. And I'm going to clean the heads on it as well. It's got a track selector switch here, and I'm going to switch it. Someone had recorded uh, an old song on here from when the machine was first in use, and I just switched it to that track. Here's the interior of the RCA sound tape machine. It is an all-triode tube system. It uses a 6EU7 preamp triode and then a 6DR7 dissimilar dual triode for the, uh, the audio driver stage and the power output. It actually is a triode power output tube. Those are the only tubes used in it except for the tuning eye tube for the level. It has a heavy-duty, well-constructed motor up here and inside you can see I put new uh, capacitors in it. I put new electrolytics in, mounted terminal strips for the electrolytics, and then I put some new mylar caps in as well to replace the old paper. This is the interior of the sound tape machine case. Just has a little speaker in there 